In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created eight different options with different color. In the center, you can add your headline and then for each option, you can add the icon and for that icon and for that option, you can add the title and the detailed text. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to select this one, which is rectangle rounded corners. Draw the rectangle, maybe this much width and height. And then you can see here the small orange point. Just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then align center, align middle. And if you want to increase the size also, you can increase it. Again, you need to align center and align middle. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to give uh, maybe some different color. Align center, again align middle. Now the next thing what you need to do is you need to hold the Alt key and uh, in your keyboard you have to use the right arrow key. So together you need to use hold the Alt key and one, two, three times I'm going to press. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and one two three times again control d one two and three times so you can see here one two three four five six seven eight options are there right now what you need to do is you need to select all these options go to format merge shapes and you need you can see here you can just fragment this the moment you fragment this one all this inside content we can just delete it all right you can see here I'm just deleting all this one like this we need to delete if you want you can just delete at a time also so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this now what we need to do is based on our requirement we need to change the color of this one so you can I'm going to start maybe with red then I'm going to give a kind of uh, say orange yellow and I'm going to give this color so any color of your choice you can just fill this with so let me just give this color then I'm going to select maybe this color then I'm going to choose this and last I'm going to choose maybe orange color now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this press ctrl G and if you need to increase the size you need to hold the ctrl shift key together and increase it something like this. Now let's add uh, one more oval shape before that one I want to change the background color so I'm just going to format background and give any color of your choice maybe this color I'm choosing then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white again align center align middle and send this to back all right just send this to back like this now i'm going to select this oval shape once again press ctrl d hold the shift key reduce the size of this oval shape and this align center align middle so we end up getting a shape something like this still if you want we can reduce it further all right maybe more i want to reduce it align center align middle make sure that everything is align center and align middle all right now what i'm going to do is let me just remove these guides i'm going to select this one more duplicate i'm going to do it and go to format shape fill i'm going to choose black increase the transparency level go to the effects soft edges increase the soft edges so i'm going to give a shadow effect here i'm just going to increase a little bit so hold the shift key again increase it all right and then i'm going to send this to back so let me just increase more and 
make sure it is align center align middle and then just send back so one we need to send back with this uh, just uh, below this white and i'm going to duplicate one more and then hold the shift key increase it more bigger again align center align middle and this one send to complete back you can say send to back so it looks something like this now once this is done we need to add some icons and text so go to insert text box you can add your main title business headline i'm saying and select this one center align increase the size you can see here put it exactly in the center and this one i'm going to make it bold all right and if you want this one also you can give some different color here whichever way you feel easy so once this is done let me just go to insert icons these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you are using the older version then this option may not be available so randomly i'm just going to pick some eight uh, icons okay some different icons i'm just choosing and let me just bring the other side make it 0.5 the height and width and make this as white color and let me just put one by one here so you can see here for each option i'm just going to add it here so let me just add it here and the last one this one and if you want some option number also you can add option number one two three so go to insert text box i'm going to add title here all right make it bold reduce the size and then you can add some detailed text add detail text here reduce the size all right and then i'm just going to bring it here select both of these press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to you can see here just put it like this one by one next to the option and for this what you can do is i can just select both of this you can select the right align again here also align make it right all right so now let me just put it this here press ctrl d and then the last one comes here all right now the last part is the animation part so i can just select all except the text i don't want to select the text you can see here i've selected all the option press ctrl g to group it okay and then let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation you can go to more entrance effect you have got different options grow and turn you can see here and if you want spinner so let me just select grow and turn click ok and then i'm going to select these options and i'm going to maybe i'm going to use the animation basic zoom and click ok and should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this all right